Hello and welcome to a video from Films by Chris. That's filmsbychris.com. Chris with a K. I'm Chris with a K. There's a link in the description to my website. Today we're going to be looking at DMessage. If you're not familiar with DMessage, uh, it gives you basically system input on like, I usually use it when hardware is being plugged in and things aren't working properly. You do need to be root or sudo in most cases to run this application, but go ahead and run it. It's going to give you information on stuff that's recently happened to, to a system. So for example here, I'm holding in my hand a Bluetooth USB module that I just have lying around. So I'm going to plug it in and then I'm going to run my sudo dmessage command. And right here it tells me that just recently a USB device was connected, USB device 59. It gives you information on it possibly like vendor like and the product name. So this is an HP Bluetooth adapter and the manufacturer is Broadcom. And so you know there's no errors that it's it's detected it. Now if I unplug it and run dmessage again, you can see that it got the message that it was disconnected. Oh, and I said 59, that was actually the previous command. You can also see from the timestamp when things are happening, that's what this is over here. So now I'm going to plug in a USB flash drive. And I'm going to run the command again. And now we can see that it was attached. It was a mass storage device. Uh, this is the brand name. It's a SanDisk U3 Cruiser, a very old flash drive and information about it. So right protection is off and just, you know, a bunch of good stuff. The size it is and somewhere in here or right here, it says that it's mounted or it's not mounted, but it's loaded as a device SDE. Okay, so that's great. A lot of you probably do that. I do that all the time, but the problem is like, okay, so I just disconnected, so I have to do whatever I'm doing, run the command again, try to determine, okay, what's the new messages? Well, you can actually have dmessage continuously give you output, which makes things useful. So all you have to do is give it the dash W option, and now it's just going. So if you have a problem, like you're plugging in game controllers or a keyboard or anything, any type of hardware you can hot swap, and there's an issue, you can run this and then again, I'll take this Bluetooth adapter, I'll plug it in, I'll give it a second and there you go. It has detected it and I know, you know, everything worked great. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to plug in and the flash drive again, USB, turn it the other way. There you go. And right away it sees it and I can tell everything's going good. And I know that this device is SDE and I will unplug that. Now, uh, also I'll have an SD card here that I'm going to pull out. And there you go, I saw that disconnect. I'm gonna plug it back in and you can see, I do get a little error there. Cannot, uh, cannot read enabled, maybe the USB cable is bad. The device seems to work fine. It might be because of the USB hub it's plugged into, but everything seems to be okay. You can tell where it's being mounted to and or at least assigned to be mounted to. But again, dmessage is a very useful command, but the way I've used it a lot in the past is I'll run the command again, plug something in, run the command again, and try to determine where the new information is because there's no real break there. But this dash W option really, really helps if you're troubleshooting some bad hardware or some hardware that you're having issues with. You can tell whether uh, it's detecting it properly. If everything's good here, then if it's not working, then it might be the software you're using, not how it's interacting with the kernel. So that's it. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.